Lyndon Arthur is back, ready to stake a claim for a shot at world glory when he takes on Argentina's Walter Gabriel Shekiera. Part of a huge night of action on Saturday, September the 17th. It's live and free on Channel 5. Oscar Bevis, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Velas here at York Call. Adam Mohammed joins me. Congratulations, brother, on your win tonight. Um, yeah, a hard fight to approach in a sense when you've got someone who is giving away that much height. Oh, mate, five foot one. You won't get. I don't think I'll get anyone smaller. You know what I'm I don't saying? think I've met a man who's five foot one before. <laughs> I've met a couple of kids, but no, not men. But yeah, he was a tricky fighter. Five foot one, uh, southpaw. Just, just leant back the whole fight, really, and uh, didn't really engage. So it was just tricky, but um, I got to him in the end, and then then the throwing the towel in. Yeah, I mean, you can see from watching it that he is fairly durable. I suppose people would probably look and go, he's a small fella. You could just be able to rush in, hurt him, and get him out of there. But I suppose he knows his way around the ring. He's had, what, 25 professional fights, so he does know how to kind of work around the ring. Yeah, yeah, he definitely does. He um, was tricky for the first few rounds. I think I caught him in the first round, and then... Um, Caught him again in the third, and then he went down, and then the, the ref didn't count it. So, um, yeah, he was, I saw that it was quite we, a clean shot, yeah, no? I thought it made, well. made a noise and all. You said to him, Look, it fresh, Go yeah, on. yeah. <laughs> nah, it was, it was, I felt it was a hard shot, and then uh, he went down, and then the ref just never counted. I was thinking, Come on, cuz <laughs> yeah, you got to him in the end. Um, just talk me through kind of the stoppage, and I suppose the lead up to it because. It was kind of consistent damage, and you could see him kind of wearing over yeah. time, couldn't you? Definitely. Um, uh, some bits of the fight, um, I rushed it, got, mm, I wouldn't say over my feet, but that like, over my shots a little bit, and then um, sat slowed myself down a bit, and then uh, just got him out of there, really. Yeah. Caught him a few sharp shots, and that was me. That was me. The first one was perfect timing as well. You could see kind of as he lent. And you clipped him, it all kind of worked out perfectly. Yeah, it was a big sound on it. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, a few people was telling me they could hear it and that. But yeah, just get that one out of the way, um, start pushing on. So. What would you say you took from tonight or what did you learn most from tonight? Don't rush, really. Yeah. Don't rush the shots. Because yeah. uh, it don't really look clean. <laughs> you know what I'm don't rush, don't get too close. And just um, keep your distance. With them type of small fighters that are d d ducking down that like, all different positions, so you just take your time, really. Yeah, because I suppose it's easy to make things look messy when you've got someone who knows what you know. He knows what job he's there to do. So I suppose it's easy for the fight to look messy, isn't it? He's just there to be tricky, isn't he? There to be tricky, pick up his payday and uh, keep it moving until the next. But um, didn't go his way today. Um, on to the next, really. And I suppose one more before the end of the year, maybe two. I don't know. I'll try to get one more in, but um, I'm trying to go have a little break, man. I've been at it for the whole year. Do you know what I'm saying? The last two years I've been at it. I ain't really had a break, so um, might have a, a week off probably now, and then um, see if I get any fights. Yeah, my dad in the street against a heavyweight. I've gone back to the dad. I've punched him a few more times. There's five blokes outside my front door. Can you come and help One hell of a fucking story, so stay tuned.